Yo, what's up you guys? Plan me here today, bringing you something a little bit different than what I normally do. Um, today I will be bringing you a quick little beginner tutorial of, of how to do Unicode. Uh, people have been requesting this for quite a bit, quite some time, so I decided to finally do it. You know, I've been lazy and stuff, but um, uh, I'm finally doing it. Um, first of all, uh, you need to have Unicode map full. Well, at least I recommend it. Um, and then, you know, down here in the catalogs, you want to go to Unicode scripts. And you want to go through, you know, each of these, you know, try to find letters that you like to add to your keyboard. Um, once you have your keyboard set up, uh, I like to have mine organized. By the way, you know that I use it. Um, like you see, I have like my little letters here. Then I have my little accents and stuff here. I have my arrows here. Then I have my symbols here. And then here I have my bigger letter letters, and that's about it. Um, all of these other ones are blank except for this one. You know, it's little tiny letters. But you know, I don't really use these so. We won't be focusing on that too much. Um, so, once you found the letters that you like, um, well, I will guess I'll do my name. Uh, once you find the letters that you like, you know, you want to put it down. Alright, next thing you want to do is go back to, a to the ABC on top. You want to do space. Then you want to go to either one of these... You can either choose this one, this one, this one, this one, or this one. It doesn't really matter. But let's just choose this one. And it's going to... that The space that you just put, it's going to slide it over. So now when you place down your next letter, it's going to be together. Because if I already just to place on a letter like that, see, it wouldn't look that well. But... If you do space, then the underscore, and you press place on the letter, it comes together. So you want to keep on doing that. I like this end. This end is pretty boss. And you just want to keep on doing that. Mm. Let's add a big letter. Uh, let's add this one. And there you go. Um, okay. So, that's pretty much that's it. If you want to add things on top, though, it's going to be a little bit more complicated. So, I'm going to try to talk really slow. Okay, so basically, um, when you hold down, you know, to scroll, uh, you basically, once you move, you're going to have, you're going to have it right there. But that is going to be your space. If you move it a little bit more. Did you see how it barely nudged? Like that. Right there. Right there. It barely nudges. But that gives you the ability to place a letter. To place something on top. Because if I were to just to place it, let's say. Oops. Just to place it right there. See, it wouldn't work. It just goes, you know, to the middle. So, if you ever mess up, it's okay. Just erase it. Space. And do that again. It takes time. I will tell you that much. Um, but, you know, like I said, once you have, once you moved on to the next letter... You want to move it very slowly until you see it nudge a little bit. And then that's when you can place the upper one. Like that. So it's the same thing with the A. Make it nudge a little bit. And um, let's put this. And then let's put that. Okay, so pretty much um, that is the basics. Uh, you can also add symbols, like that, <clears throat> and let's, um, add this nuke sign, 
Might as well. Let's add another one right here. All right. So there you go. Um, oh, let me also show you that the other ones do work as well. So let's do space. And let's do a upper one. And as you can tell, it's still combining. All right. So um, I don't really like to do new the little symbols that much so I'll take those off and um let's make some wings shall we all right let's start off with here mm. okay let's start off with this half circle space we did a little up arc mm, let's add this Hmm, what could I add? Okay, let's do this. Add one on the bottom. Uh, let's add this arrow. With this one. And then let's add one on the bottom here. And then let's add, um, let's see this. And this. And then you do, do that. And combine above. And there you go. Some pretty, you know, decent original wings. Um, you want to do the exact same thing for the opposite side. So first, you want to add this. And then you want to add the reverse, which will be this one. And then you want to add, uh, wait, which way would it be? It's that way? Yeah, it would be that way. And then you want to space it. Add an underline. And then the arrow facing the other way. And then the top arrow. And then you want to do the one on the bottom. And we're going to add. Shoot, what are we going to add? Um, oh, we're going to add this one. And then we're going to do space. And we're going to add the top one. And then last but not least, we're going to add the bottom circle again. And there you go. You know, it looks pretty nice and stuff. Um, you know, I just made it right now. Um, but yeah, you can just play around with it. Um, you know, just like I said, just go through your catalogs here. Or you could just go here on arrows and just, you know, look around here. There's a lot of arrows that you could use. And just look through everything, you know, find yourself something. You know, here's some more symbols and arrows and stuff. Oh, um, one last thing before I go. Um, I'm going to show you guys where to get the little combining lines. It's uh, under here, under accents and marks. And um, you just scroll down a little bit. And here you have one right here. Well, it doesn't show, but it's right next to the little thunderbolt right here. You have the downward ones, and then right next to it, you have the up one, and then you have the little, you know, straight line, the underline, and then you have this wavy one, which, you know, combining double title, which also works, and then you have the upper one and the bottom one. But yeah, you know, just look around here, find stuff that you like, you know, just be creative, you know. Um, well, that's pretty much the basics of Unicode. Um, there is a lot more to, you know, what you could do. But for right now, you know, I'm trying to keep this video short. But as for right now, um, that is it. You know, thanks for watching. I hope this really helped you. You know, I hope you go out and um, purchase this. Uh, I know it's a little bit pricey. It's one ninety nine in the App Store. But, you know, on my part, it is worth it. You know, I love to help people, you know, 
I love to help people, you know, and then when they get their Unicode, they're like, oh my god, thank you, it looks so boss. I don't know, it just puts a smile to my face. But yeah, uh, these are some of my other creations. Well, except for Rapist, uh, he told me to hold on to it. But yeah, you know, you know, all you have to do is just play around with it. You have to be creative enough, you know, find all these, you know, random letters and stuff, but anyways, I've been going on for long enough, uh, thanks a lot for watching guys, hope this helped, like I said, uh, rate, comment, subscribe, if this, if you enjoyed this video, um, I will be bringing you guys some MC4 gameplay tomorrow, but, uh, yeah, that's it for now, um, thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you guys later, later.